That's Connor Wilson reporting. Well, earlier I met with Jennifer Carol McNeil, the Minister of State at the Department of Finance, who has special responsibility for, amongst other things, insurance. I began by asking the Minister if she agreed, despite some progress on motor insurance, that there was still some pretty clear failings with her government's insurance reforms. It is incomplete and the piece that we have yet to fix is the public liability insurance and I'm happy to say that legislation which will fix that is currently going through the Shannad. It's been through the Dáil, it's going through the Shannad and that is the key change that needs to happen for all of these businesses. I mean we all recognise the value of being able to participate in outdoor activities and Ireland has been an outlier in terms of costs, of claims and how easy it has been to make a claim. So what the legislation that's going through the House now will do is shift the balance away from the person providing the service, the bike hire, the Ringo on the water, taking all the responsibility to that being more properly balanced between the person using the service and the person providing it. That's much, much more in line with what we see in the UK, what we see across Europe. It's going to bring Ireland into line with that, stop us being an outlier, and that really will have an effect on the ability to get insurance, good insurance, at a normal price, and that's what I'm determined to deliver. That's the future, but for the present we know one thing, we know that awards are down yet premiums are up. On the face of it, it looks like the action that has been taken over the past number of years has been very good for insurance companies but not so good for businesses and consumers. Awards are down in motor insurance and premiums are down in motor insurance. People will have seen, and motor insurance is the one you have to get by law, people will have seen their premiums coming down from well over 700 euros in 2017 to around 550, 560 euros in, in 2022. And we've even seen those premiums fall further in 2022, even in an inflationary But that's ignoring the other reality, that there are other but awards are down to. That's So that's the bit where we really have seen the impact from the government's uh, insurance reform programme. What we now need to see is the same happening in respect of public liability and employers liability insurance premiums for businesses being able to wanting to participate in those markets. The legislation that I described that's going through the houses at the moment will have that effect and I can assure you that having when that legislation is passed I will be meeting again the CEOs of every insurance company in Ireland to make plain again my ex expectation that they will react appropriately to the passage of that legislation and introduce a very different architecture for people looking for insurance. We've seen Fiona Connolly there. That's the reality. You can dress it if you like, but the reality is insurance premiums and prices and companies' behaviour is driving people out of business on your watch. The key piece is this legislation to change the balance in public liability, to share the risk between the person using it and the person providing the service in a much more normal way in line with European so averages. So when will we see savings when and premiums? When that legislation goes through during the summer, I will be picking up the phone and inviting the CEOs in here to have that very direct conversation with them again. Because the legislation will be passed then, there's literally no excuse after that. We will be in line with UK and, Nor and European so averages. So when can Fiona and, and others like her expect to see the result of that? I expect to be, them to be able to see that in the second half of this year when the legislation has gone through. That's what I expect to see. And I'd be very, very clear with insurance companies in relation to that. Are the insurance companies profiteering and ripping people off? I think what, what's happening is that we have to get our, our norms in line sure, with I'm everyone just asking else you about so the that people can of access, I'm can asking access you. Europe. But the problem is they're not getting insurance at all. And we've seen that post-Brexit there were a couple of small sectors who had been accessing the UK market in terms of insurance where the risk Minister, was spread. But this is, but this is aside, what's happening. There is a reality. But this that is companies what has happened. like we have seen in Connor's report have had no claims and they're being fleeced. Why? There is no excuse for that except the public liability piece and I am changing that which means there is no excuse after that and I expect them to be able to get good insurance, good quality cover at a reasonable price. That's it, that's my expectation. Minister of State Jennifer Carr McNeil, thank you for speaking to us today. Well I'm now joined here by Peter Boland, Director